Hey, welcome to Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We've got a really special show for you tonight. This show is predictive programming in video games. You won't believe who they're targeting now. There's a lot of research that's been done by various YouTubers. I did a video, which we're going to be getting into last year, and it talked about some incredibly shocking things that are happening in mobile apps. Well, I have Nathaniel, uh, National Consensus Project is his YouTube channel. Subscribe. You can see his link in the description below. Uh, he does fabulous work calling up pastors, priests, rabbis, talking about uh, the firmament and many things in season one. He'll be talking more at the end of the show about what's coming up in season two. But before we get into that, I just want to make sure that you're all ready for what's coming next. That's right. You are witnessing the first live stream with Nathaniel National Consensus Project and Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We've got an amazing show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be getting into so much in this show. You wait, you can't wait and see what's happening with this show. Um, Nathaniel, real quick, what was it like when you discovered some of the things that you were seeing in these video games? It was pretty, uh, you know, heartbreaking. You know, the, the first time I saw it, uh, I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. Uh, it's just it's just really dark and surprising. Um, just it's so blunt and blatant. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. You guys just stick around um, for the for the video. It's going to be incredible. Like I said, I did a video, which I'll be getting into uh, in June of last year, and it was covering the mobile app uh, Sniper Game, where they were, of course, assassinating who? That's right. You won't believe it. Stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to get into this video, and afterwards we're going to get into some more shocking stuff in the latest game that Nathaniel's been able to uncover some pretty shocking stuff in Tom Clancy's Division 2. We're going to get into flat earth killing in video games. That's right. They're looking to assassinate you if you teach the world is not a spinning ball flying through space. Hey, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson, and I've got a really interesting video for you today. Thanks to Freedom in Truth. Uh, she sent me an email about a app on the iPhone. This is a game called Sniper Shooter. So if anyone's not aware of this game, you got to get ready to hear what I have to say and what they've discovered and brought out into the light with Sniper Shooter. This is a game, best new FPS stickman game. You can get it on the iPhone. I'm not sure if it's available for Android, but maybe you can let me know in the comments. Anyways, you know, a lot of people like the shooter games and sniper games. Lots of fun, right? Take out the terrorists, take out the bad guys. We have a picture here, someone here up here in a helicopter pad, getting ready to take off, take them out, you know, take out these bad men that are trying to hurt people here in this neighborhood. But what's really troubling, and again, I predicted this in previous videos, is they were going to move towards calling out science deniers as dangerous. This is something for society we have to look at as very severe. These science deniers, who in their right mind would dare question climate change? Who would, who would come against evolution? Who would dare come against space and the heliocentric Big Bang cosmology that we've completely told everyone is true through NASA and the space agencies? Again, this agenda has been going on for such a long time. And if this video doesn't make it clear how serious this is getting in programming children and people playing video games on the dangers of science deniers, particularly people that question the shape of the Earth, <gasps> How could anyone question the shape of the earth? We know it's a sphere. We know it's a globe. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Let's put a game together and let's assassinate those flat earthers. That's right. Check this out. This is the mission two out of five. It's sunny. School day is the mission two out of five. Target is Fred the teacher. Intel, all town kids think that the earth is flat. Thanks to this guy, he bought his diploma on the internet. Objective? fire him literally he'll be on a school tour with his class start mission so i haven't even downloaded this game because i think it's uh, just absolutely appalling and i don't even want to give one cent to this company that would dare actually have a sniper game where you're going to be shooting certain really bad characters in the game from terrorists to muggers thieves and of course a teacher 
that got his diploma on the internet. Love how they put the intel together. But again, this was really troubling to see because I think this tells us a lot and where things are heading. This is sunny school day, mission two out of five, and the target is Fred the teacher because everyone is believing the earth is flat in this town. Fred's teaching them that the earth is flat. So of course, we've got to, we've got to assassinate him. We've got to snipe him. We've got to actually fire him, literally. Love how they put the fire him literally in there as if, you know, we don't need any more intel based on Fred the teacher. But this is really troubling to see a g game on the iPhone, sniper shooter. And so far it's got 48.9 thousand likes on it. It's got five stars out of five stars. This game is really, really popular. There's a lot of people downloading this game and they're having fun taking out Fred the teacher, the flat earth teacher. And like I said, this is absolutely incredibly troubling. We're moving into a time where, you know, the ridicule is moving into a hatred, but also a programming, especially through video games, through comedy. We're going to see this continually. They've said that uh, science deniers are dangerous. Uh, they said they're equivalent to terrorists. There has been rhetoric all throughout the media. And again, we're going to see this completely ramped up as we continue on and why because we're just asking questions science is all about questions and why are we being treated this way this is absolutely abusive i think that everyone should put a comment in this game i think that we should actually write to get this taken off of the app store and again you know this company needs to understand that uh, it's one thing you know having you know fake terrorists or muggers and that sort of thing which most people can get behind but to sit there and actually say that we need to actually kill a flat earther someone that's teaching children again you don't know why you know you don't know why there's so many people that are laughing or ridiculing or or nervous about this topic well this is one reason why people are actually scared to come out there are so many people out there that are flat earthers and you just don't know who they are because they're scared stuff like this is going on and they're worried maybe not so much for their life but their livelihood they're worried for their job they're worried about public ridicule they're worried about name calling and this has to end i'm getting sick and tired of all of the hate all of the name calling every group in our today's society are protected there's certain words you can't say and i know that everyone has the right to their opinion and they can basically you know the freedom of speech but when i see news anchors when i see pastors when i see people of dignity and of respect especially when it comes to journalism and they'll equate flat earth with morons or idiots and again especially when they start moving into saying that flat earthers are dangerous people that would dare deny science or even question science we've got to do something about them this is very very serious and uh, again when i saw this uh from my email i was just heartbroken um you know it's one thing seeing this in the mainstream media but when you see a game especially this popular and one of the missions is taking out fred the teacher because he's teaching the kids that the earth is flat all town kids think that the earth is flat now there's another thing too all the kids already believe it they already believe it so whatever fred has taught them they all believe it so it's not just he's teaching it let's take him out all the kids believe it so we've got to do something about it what do you think is going to happen when more and more people come out about flat earth exactly this is exactly what's going to happen the numbers at this point aren't so concerning in my opinion to them but as the numbers rise people are going to get more concerned we're going to see more people raise the alarm calling into question wait a minute we have to do something this is a detriment to society this is dangerous i've heard these terms many of you have heard these terms as well and i'm sick and tired of it this is wrong there is nothing there's no doubt about it that when you get into some type of game environment with a sniper shooting people and he's going to shoot someone for teaching that the earth is flat that's basically all of us all of us that now believe that the earth is not a spinning ball flying through space we're all under that sniper's crosshairs we're all now going to be targets and i know this is just a game but it's an illustration to show exactly where things are heading and especially when they're going to be putting it into a game like this so let's contact this company let's basically raise our voice and say this is wrong many many groups wouldn't tolerate this if they were the object of a assassination or a sniper in a game such as this 
and I'm sure that all the other missions, if you go through them, they're all going to be pretty, pretty much legitimized as far as terrorists or muggers or, you know, whatever, bad, bad guys. But the fact is, is Fred the teacher a bad guy because he wants to make his children, you know, his uh, school kids think, you know, his students, he just wants to, you know, have them question things. And maybe they've looked into it. Maybe they asked the questions and maybe Fred, the teacher, was basically showing them many, many problems with the Big Bang heliocentric construct, especially when it comes to the globe and it comes to all the problems with gravity and showing them that not everything is truly scientific. A lot of things are theory. So again, the fact that this is put in a game, starting a mission to take out Fred, the teacher, because all the town kids think the earth is flat is disgusting. And I'm really upset about this because I've been thinking about a few things for a while now. And I've been seeing, you know, just the name calling and just how the media treats flat earthers and all that. And again, this just takes it to a whole new level. So I definitely see this as the start of something that will expand as the numbers rise. And this is exploding everywhere. People are believing the earth is flat all over the world and yes i said all over the world and this whole idea that the oh the earth is round yeah it is it's round but it's flat do you ever look at a penny do you ever look at a pancake have you ever looked at a pizza so many people are like oh, it's round yes we believe it's round so stop for a second and actually look at truly what flat earthers believe and no we don't believe ships go over the edge start actually looking into it and at least educate yourself to find out truly what the models are because again we don't believe a lot of the things that you're thinking that we do believe and maybe you know fred the teacher has things a lot more right than you can actually even imagine right now but it's hard for you to because you've been indoctrinated with your education with your nasa with your scientism and again i am just at the point where you know we will call the alarm we will raise the alarm and we will get more people looking into this issue and please reach out to this company right in the comments um different ways because again this is disgusting taking out a flat earther I've seen it all now, but maybe I haven't. Maybe a lot more is coming and we should be ready for it. So this is just a video just showing certain things and certain ways they're gonna start moving towards showing exactly how worrisome and just how detrimental these people that teach the earth are, is flat is. And like I said, it's absolutely disgusting. It gets me really angry to tell you the truth because again, there's so many people, there's so many good hearted people out there. So many educated, smart people have looked at this at so many different angles. They've looked at this through the scientific method. They've looked at this through the biblical, um, you know, different areas and, you know, to sit there and relegate them to being snuffed out, to be taken out because, you know, well, science deniers. No, 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 we love, we love science. What we don't like is scientism. And if you start looking into it, you'll find out that so much of what is taught today is nothing more than scientism. It's not science. And uh, really, start looking into it. It's important. So anyways, I'm going to let you go. But this really got me riled up. It definitely got me riled up, that's for sure. That was one year ago. And uh, it was incredible to see exactly what was going on in that video when we're going to be touching on what we're touching on tonight. Uh, Nathaniel being you know, into video games has uncovered some pretty gruesome stuff. Now, many people are aware of the FBI report that just came out uh, equating conspiracy theorists with domestic terrorism. And that's exactly what we're going to get in tonight. Maybe you can kind of preface a little bit uh, of what was going on in the video that you uncovered while you were doing gameplay with Tom Clancy's Division 2, Nathaniel. Yeah, no, so the game come, came out, you know, March 15th of this year. Uh, and I was really eager to play it. You know, I played the first division and those of you who've, who've ever played the division I'm on ps4, but basically there's a virus that breaks out uh, in New York City during Black Friday uh, And it's pretty much a post-apocalyptic uh, story and you play as this division agent that's trying to You know help people and it's basically like a looter shooter. It's what it's called but this division 2 game is set in DC uh, and in this particular mission, uh, your objective is basically to um, connect your communication system with the satellites, uh, which is located inside a facility that the game calls um, the uh, Space Administration Headquarters. Uh, it's basically NASA, right? And you're roaming around, and it's, it's astonishing what you uh, find uh, as far as Easter eggs. Uh, related to uh, flat earth in this video. So I got about four to five minutes of footage compiled for 
uh, you guys to take a look at. So it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, I mean, it's remarkable the very fact that even in that app that they're targeting, you know, uh, a teacher that is teaching the school children that the earth is flat and that in the game you're out there to assassinate the teacher. You know, to me, that right. was just unbelievable that that would be in a video game and that people would just sit by and, and tolerate that. I mean, that is, I mean, a people group that they're looking to assassinate, uh, you know, and of course we've seen it through humor, you know, we've seen it through ridicule, but now it's moving into different type of territory. I'm clearly seeing this happen specifically in 2019 with the censorship increasing, but also with stuff that we're going to get into tonight where they're starting to put in a lot of predictive programming just like the FBI report was reporting that conspiracy theorists are now deemed domestic terrorists. You know, this mm -hmm. is something uh, of concern. And, you know, when they put things in video games, a lot of people play these video games. And again, it, it is starting subtle. Obviously, with the app game, it wasn't very subtle. It was right in your face. But this one, I think, is a lot more telling in, in what's going on. Because, you know, you know, as you're as you're walking up, the first scene I found was really interesting was this first photocopy. You know, we're going to do a close-up of this, and we can talk a little bit about this in the video game. Because, uh, like I said, this is one of those things where it's a meme. People are laughing and having a good time. And yet, the programmers of this video game put it in here to start off this journey. Let's just uh, pause it here. Let's get a close-up of it so people can see. And, and people will realize exactly how silly this image is. How nobody believes this depiction. And yet, they put this in the video game. The Flat Earth Theory. Now, anybody listening right now or watching this video, anyone believe in that? No, put in the comments if you do. I'd like to know because I have yet to find someone that believes in this ridiculous theory. What do you think about this, Nathaniel, when you came across this in the video game? I mean, it's, um, you know, it's not surprising, this depiction. I think I've heard Neil deGrasse Tyson mention something about, hey, all the other planets are around, but the Earth is this flat. You know, it's this is obviously mockery. Like you said, nobody believes maybe in the very beginning right if you first hear about it maybe this is something that you kind of think about but if you're i guess good at researching uh, any particular topic you quickly find that this uh, is is obvious mockery so it's um this is expected right it's like okay if you put that in there that's fine we're in a space administration center this is expected i guess within in the times that we're in but yeah. nonetheless uh you're right it is kind of deceiving to say the least it is but it also really when you kind of look at that picture instantly you just laugh at it i mean rightfully right, so, right. Even, right. even flat earthers laugh at it right but it's a great way to disarm any notion that this could be have any credibility to it just because this is so preposterous and so ridiculous right i found that in this video game not only once but twice did they show some pretty ridiculous uh, depictions which we'll get into here in a bit but you know what was it like when you first you know were playing this mission you got into this area and you came across this like you must have been blown away Right, yeah, definitely, because, you know, you find that there there are several of these, you know, Easter eggs and, and what they're called, and they and they get a lot more um, hard to find and difficult to find. But these printers, you know, you just walk up to it and you see it says, you know, print image and, you know, a, a flat earth meme pops out. At first, you know, it's like, oh, look, flat earth. But then it's like, well, wait a minute. Whoever sees this that's not me clearly is going to say, well, they're idiots. They're yeah. they're they're idiots, and so that's it's just shocking, I guess. And the scary thing is, is they're equating now with someone that basically has low IQ to being very dangerous. You know, science denial. Like I said in my previous video, you know, I put out on the app game. You know, we're seeing this here now, and as we get into more shocking revelations in this video game, and some people are asking in the chat which video game is Tom Clancy's Division Two, correct? That's right. Awesome. Okay, well, let's let's continue on with this because, like I said, it gets more and more shocking as we continue. We're starting off with mockery, but we get into some serious, serious topics as we move on. So let's just uh, roll the video. You can maybe kind of talk about what's happening, what was uh, going on here next after you came across this yeah. photocopy. Yeah, and you guys pay attention to the numbers. You see PAG 1224. You guys pay attention to those numbers because later in the video, they're going to play an important role uh, in uncovering another Easter egg that they implemented into this game. So pay attention at 1224. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty interesting how um, subliminal uh, these Easter eggs can be. So and that, that's how they roll, right? They're, they're pretty good at um, hiding Easter eggs, right? Here's another printer now that you can a, find. Yeah, now here's a shocker. So we'll get a zoom in on this one. Check this out. This is really, really shocking. So 
let's see if we get a closer image of this one. I think you go in a bit closer, but let's just... Yeah, let's zoom in a bit, yeah. Here we go. This is a mug shot. And as, as everyone can see, hopefully it's legible for everyone that's tuning in right now. Flat Earther, K3123, 17th of February, 1977. So mm. what was it like when you came across this? I mean, this is a, clearly a mug shot, and, and clearly he's had his teeth punched out <laughs> or something yeah. going on there. So what's happening here? He, he obviously triggered someone in the cell, you know, um, mentioning the Flat Earth. But no, seriously, this is... Um, uh, it's predictive programming, right? It's it's coming to the time when you like, when you see a flat earther in jail for for doing something, any anything really, uh, like you mentioned earlier with the FBI um, documents talking about conspiracy theories, uh, uh, being domestic terrorism and things like that. So he, there's no telling what this guy did, um, whether he got punched in the face by Buzz Aldrin or whatever. I don't know. Um, he's uh, this is. This is shocking, too. And it, like I said, it gets darker. So it's yeah, starting now. It really is. And I mean, this is kind of like the first clue. But obviously, they're demonizing, they're criminalizing, you know, and again, not even a name, just flat earther, you know? Right. Forget right. just a name. Just, OK, now we know in the game, this is a flat earther. Here's the dangerous guy. I mean, you you got your gun. You're waiting there. Oh, my goodness. This is the guy that I might have to take out soon. You know, I mean, that's kind of mm -hmm. what I would feel if I was playing this video game. It's like, OK, maybe this is the guy I'm going to run into here soon, you know? This guy's right, dangerous. Right. This is dangerous. Okay, well, let's let's continue on a bit because, like I said, it gets crazier. That's for sure. And I'm I'm with my buddy Panther fan. Uh, met him that night. We scrolled through and tried to get a bunch of this footage put together. Yeah, Shout out to him. It, yeah, it's a, it's incredibly shocking. That's for sure. And I think it's important to get out there for everyone uh, just to yeah. see how incredible uh, they're getting as far as blatant and putting stuff. You know, even secretly. Um, you know. In video games, TV shows, cartoons, this is all happening. It's all over the place. It's, it's all, all over the place. It's all happening. Okay, here we go. And this is in D.C., by the way, guys. This is in Washington, D.C. This is the um, Space Administration headquarters. It's going to go down this uh, elevator here. going to skip ahead. This is a laboratory that... You actually have to um, fumble around. You can go ahead and pause it here really quick. It, you have to fumble around with some computers uh, up in the upper levels uh, to get into this laboratory, this entrance. But if you notice this desk that I'm, that I'm about to uh, work on, there's a helmet and there's two uh, gloves. That is three. So if you, if you scroll back just a little bit, you'll notice that each desk has... Okay, so you got one arm on the first desk. You've got a helmet and a glove on the second one. And then, like I said, three on the third one. And to the right, there's actually um, a number four, I believe. And those are corresponding to those images and those memes that we saw with, um, you know, like 12, 24 and things like that. So you have to actually take those and kind of tinker around with these computers and input those codes uh, 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 in order to get that laboratory open. It's, it's ridiculous. So you go ahead and... I hit play and see I've got the combination ready and I'm gonna punch it in you guys are not gonna believe what's on the other side of that door again this is Tom Clancy's the division 2 uh, it was released on March 15 2019 Tom Clancy is a very very big brand here we go we're going in looks creepy already Right away, just like what? Like what? Like another complete misconception, right? Something to mock, to make fun of it, to make it look Looney Tunes and crazy. Right, and there's like there's blood yeah. on the table and the floor. So whatever happened in here, there was some violence that occurred. And as you see, there's astronauts, you know, all around. Yeah. But this first thing that comes to mind here, obviously, is you know the ancient uh, cosmological worldviews of some ancient cultures. Um, but it's just, they've got it in some kind of laboratory. Don't know what was going on in here, but I think it's a little unnecessary. Um, oh, absolutely. I mean, a turtle and I think even, uh, above the turtle, you got elephants, right? Holding up the flat earth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But this room was so well hidden. It's like you, you, you there, you can kind of see the tusks of the elephants there or whatever. Uh, obviously shows it right there. And uh, anybody that's looked into Flat Earth, obviously, you know, you see this kind of ridiculous uh, depiction. 
of course, with this turtle with elephants. I mean, very, very interesting. But uh, I find it interesting how they're bringing in uh, the flat Earth, but also space and astronauts. Almost like, you know, these uh, individuals are looking to do something bad to these astronauts or space or, you know what I mean? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very interesting how you would bring in the two. You've got, you know, astronaut suits, space suits, and you got this flat Earth depictions, right? Of course, so far, we've got absolutely ridiculous depictions. We don't have any, like, you know, textbooks, anybody with uh, any realistic depictions of flat Earth. We just see complete nonsense so far. So let's continue yeah. on here. And you're you're absolutely right, Robbie. Because the guy I'm playing with, when he when we walk into the room, he's laughing. He's like, oh, oh, "Look, look, oh, oh. So you're right. That's the first thing that comes to mind is is laughter. But I per, I personally, you know, take this pretty seriously. Absolutely. I think uh, absolutely. You know, the, yeah, the developers uh, definitely knew what they were doing, putting this in a in a room like this, right? No, for sure. And then if you look in the back on the uh, whiteboards, you know, there's a bunch of uh, obviously equations different formulas and stuff it'd be interesting to kind of break that down if anyone has some time uh and they are a video gamer maybe go into this uh we'll give some instructions as far as you know how to find this uh, easter egg in the game uh but i'm sure there's a lot more deeper clues that are in there you know this is the surface that we can see but i'm sure mm -hmm. there's a lot of embedded deep stuff usually video game like to do that you know they like to put in you know multiple layers Mm -hmm. you know, so this is uh yeah this is absolutely ridiculous but it's still shocking that they spent all this time programming this into a game indeed and those were actually some some gravity equations on that whiteboard back there i, I i've zoomed in zoomed in before uh, and it's pretty much like your traditional gravity okay so, um, it, so it is propaganda gra it is gravity equations indeed I don't know what that blood's about, Robbie, but it's all on the floor right there. Something happened. Somebody got uh, somebody got seriously injured. And so now, now in the game here, you're running. Where are you running to now? Like as far as uh, in the gameplay, uh, what's your idea behind you know running into B3? Uh, well, pretty much the the next part of the mission is to investigate the lower levels because, like I said, uh, with the division agents in DC, we're trying to reestablish a connection uh, with the, the, the communication system. I think it goes by Isaac, and we're trying to connect that uh, to uh, the satellite system so we can all be connected again uh, in the game. But it, like I said, the satellite system and all that takes place inside, I believe it's NOA, which stands for National uh, Organization of Aeronautics, but okay. like I said, it's basically nasa oh i see right here yeah <laughs> gravity yeah, and then, yeah, yeah i saw that yeah <laughs> let's just go back here a bit before we get to the real shocker coming up here i think it's uh yeah look at that eh? there it is yeah yeah so this is the organization so yeah this this part here again really got concerning uh to what was on this photocopy machine this this actually um, brought like you know a little baby tear to my eye because it was so it's just shocking to see that you know especially going into you know what you spoke about in your your introduction video about how they're going to attribute flat earthers to uh, acts of violence and things like that obviously this guy looks like he did something pretty bad this is on the news yeah uh, this is this is really concerning because now right now you're moving into like the fbi had put out the report on domestic terrorism and clearly you can see here you know big news related item and you know arrested flat earther right here's the time at 14 12 and i think it's really important for people to really look into a lot of these details because i believe that predictive programming is alive and well and this is very sophisticated in this timeline because really in the gameplay you never come across these individuals do you no 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 so to me this is put in place for a very specific reason especially when it's not part of the game especially these characters right again you're seeing this news related item what i found incredibly shocking was what was on his red jumpsuit while he's taken into uh you know he's been he's he's been captured by the force and we'll zoom in it's going to be probably hard to read but as you can see on his jumpsuit it says flat earther group mm. i mean like he has his own red jumpsuit and i think it will get a we'll get a close-up on the uh, time of 14 12 but also i think we'll get a close-up of the blood that is on his shirt 
Yeah. Okay. You can see at the very top, it's really hard to see just uh, over to the right of Flat Earther Group. At the top there, you'll see a shirt. Maybe we'll be able to get a cleaner picture of, uh, of him in a shirt so you can see what we're talking about. But right there, as we zoom out, there's blood on his white shirt underneath his red jumpsuit. And his red jumpsuit says Flat Earther Group. And the news headline is Arrested Flat Earther. Unbelievable. To me, this blew my mind. Like, you know, when you came across this, what was your initial thought when you're coming across this with this predictive programming showing, you know, exactly what the FBI report is talking about, exactly how mm -hmm. they're trying to demonize these conspiracy theories, and specifically, they're mentioning Flat Earth is dangerous. Yeah, it, obviously pretty dangerous. If he's, he's got blood on him. He's dressed like that. You know, he's got the red beard. He looks like he's, he did something pretty bad. There's a bunch of officers out there. My, my initial reaction, uh, Robbie, like I said, my heart kind of dropped when I saw it because uh, I know exactly what I was looking at. Predictive programming. You know, I've I've seen tons of it, you know, uh, from from ODD to in, it, pretty much anywhere. You, you see the predictive programming and my heart dropped and. Uh, I felt frightened, you know, I felt threatened uh, in a sense, uh, I teared up a bit because like you said, it's got flat earther group right there on his, on his jumpsuit and there's blood on his white t-shirt. So yeah, I don't know if that had something to do with, uh, the blood in the laboratory. Uh, maybe he went in there and did some, I don't know because it's just, it's just ain't, this ain't cool. It's not cool at all. And what I found really striking was if we go back to this guy, it's completely a different one. It's not the guy right. that gets captured. You've got another flat earther here that has, you know, is a criminal uh, mugshot here, and you know his title's flat earther. So you can clearly see that this group or whatever, you've got multiple members. And here, whether this is the leader that they're rounding up uh, here, as you can see on their hats, right? This is the division, or, or sorry, this is the uh, agency. Um, like you had mentioned, but it looks like they have they've captured them. You know, we, we went through it. You think it's the same organization on their hats? The uh, it looks like NOA, honestly. It looks like NOA security. Wow, this is this is crazy. So, it, so it's aeronautics. So so it's actually a, a division. You know, this is kind of like almost like NASA. You know, a division of the military arresting a flat earther. Uh huh. You know, it, it looks, looks like yeah, like security for that organization, the the HQ before the the virus broke out, maybe in DC. You know I what want, I mean? Yeah, I wonder almost in ways. You know, when 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 Trump was talking about Space Force, I wonder if the Space Force, if a military branch, another division of of the military, you know, would they have this type of power? You know, we've always been looking at space forces up in the sky. You know, you know, in supposed space. But what if space force is designed for this in the future? that, you know, they're going to be linked in with science and also this aeronautics or, or space, you know, will be able to actually have military powers. That's the shike. Uh, that's really, really uh, shocking. Uh, there could be yeah. a connection there, you know, who knows, but uh, this was unbelievable. You know, I just got to go back when you, when you walk up to this, because it's just, you know, after you leave this room, you're coming across and I, I believe, you know, usually they go after the leaders. It's probably like a leader or it's one of the generals or commanders of the flat earther group. There it is again, arrested flat earther. And then the, the, the jumpsuit got me so much, man. It's not like, you know, they've actually captured him in his own, either his own jumpsuit or they put all these flat earthers in flat earther jumpsuits. Mm. Right? Which is like the scary. FEMA camp type of stuff. Correct. Yeah, like they're just yeah. rent. Yeah, so they have like different divisions, you know, in the FEMA camp. This, these guys go to the flat earther. These guys are, you know, really dangerous and they have special plans for them. I mean, it's, it's, there's no words for it. Even at the beginning of this video, getting into it, um, I don't think people really understand, you know, how severe and how important this video is. Please share this video. You know, get this yeah, video. Please. This is shocking because even if people do not believe in flat Earth and they think it's silly and crazy, why are they demonizing flat Earthers? Why are they making it to the point of, of equating us with domestic terrorists? You know, why are they, they putting, you know, predictive programming in video games like this? Could this be part of the future? Could this, could we see something like this happening in the future? I believe so. I think science denial is going to be looked at incredibly uh, seriously in the future. If you come against climate change, if you come against the science behind uh, more than two genders, if you come against the science of uh, space and everything that NASA is doing, um, you're seeing this rhetoric increase. Like, what do you think, Nathaniel, when it comes to, you know, what you've documented and what you've researched as far as everything that's taken place since you've been in Flat Earth? I, I definitely see the uproar and I see the crackdown, you know, obviously with YouTube uh, and Google and the censorship. Um, there's a lot of videos um, that a lot of people don't 
have access to if they, you know, punch in Flat Earth on YouTube like I did in 2015, you know, all the uh, before uh, uh, they they basically uh, hit everything. But I see a lot of predictive programming with this. Um, And this isn't this isn't uh, all that's out there. Obviously, we um, they're going to crack down on conspiracy theorists in general, whether it be. uh, with this new Epstein stuff, right? There's conspiracies on that, and I hope I think that's a, an, an awakening to see, hey, there's something going on with the with the government and the powers to be. Um, but this this is astonishing. I see some people in the chat saying, hey, you know, I've, I've played this game a lot. I've never seen this, and you know, at the end of the day, if you're just a casual gamer uh, and you're not like someone like me that tries to find everything in every game. Uh, opening boxes and opening doors and hey what's this button do right you won't find stuff like this um, which is intentional um, because that's how they operate right they're they're pretty dark and subliminal uh, and you got to dig which is why I tell people all the time you know you you got to sort through all the uh, the false information when you try to research things such as this because obviously they don't want this information getting out uh, they'll ridicule anybody that speaks about it openly and, you know, Pastor Nate, he'll, he'll even get fired uh, for something like this uh, from from the churches, which is why, you know, on season one of my channel, uh, I dedicated uh, some calls to some pastors about biblical cosmology and the firmament. It's the foundation for understanding uh, biblical cosmology and the, the mockeries out there. You just you just got to, um, you know, stay strong and. I think this video will help shed some light on why uh, this is important and why people should just keep looking, right? Look harder, spend a little more time than, you know, a couple of days uh, on the topic and look at human history. Human history, this isn't a new concept. It's not like, hey, you know, in 2015 or whatever, it's not like, you know, idiots sprung up out of the dirt. No, this is this is something that our our ancestors understood based on, um, you know, what they saw in the heavens and the apparent measurements and, and things like that. I think, what is it, the astrolabe uh, is an important uh, instrument from the past. But nonetheless, Robbie, this is this is incredible. It I'm is. glad I I'm, Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely shocking, for sure. Many people that are tuning in right now, uh, this is the game that we're uh, reviewing right now is uh, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. And uh, maybe you want to go in real quick because some people are like, yeah, I don't believe it's in there or whatever. Maybe you think this is all CGI. Maybe you can kind yeah. of explain a little bit. Um, you know, maybe you can post something on your channel at another point where you can let people know how to get in here so they can see it for themselves. Because I think there's a lot of clues in here as well. And for people that are, you know, really into video games, maybe look into uh, more video games and kind of pay attention because this this is very very shocking. Uh, you know what we're viewing right now, especially when you've got uh, you know flat earther here mugshot. And notice how they don't have names. They're just either flat earther, flat earther arrested. Uh, and this is exactly what I believe they will do when the headlines you know hit. It won't be the name or whatever. It won't be even terrorist. It'll be flat earther. You know does this or does that you know and they will you know look through all these materials and who knows if they'll set it up this way where they'll put crazy stuff together where you know you've got uh, a turtle you know in the person's house you know Mm. how crazy would that be if you saw this type of depictions but yet the general public won't know you know they won't know they'll 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 actually equate this with these are what flat earthers believe they believe in the turtle they believe in this uh, ridiculous meme you know at this other uh, photo copy that uh, you know you printed off at the very beginning of your gameplay and again nobody believes this this is not a true depiction so it's a really great way of disarming them but also it's important that we do videos like this so you know people that already do believe you know in flat earth but even people that are sitting on the fence they can kind of look at this material and go wait a minute in the future if this does happen know that we've talked about this before and you know some people ask well where's the 9-11 jumpsuits or where's and that's you know a really good question i would imagine that everyone will kind of be lumped together but isn't it fascinating how there's been so many articles even linking 9-11 and flat earth together as dangerous yeah youtube did it yeah i mean there's tons just type it in i mean type it in and find out what kind of censorship is coming against of all conspiracies of all uh, teachings anybody that goes against the mainstream you know heliocentric big bang cosmology now you're deemed a science denier 
you know, and I, I uh, titled the video predictive programming and video games, science deniers must go. And that's exactly what you're seeing. I mean, Bill Nye's come forward talking about the dangers of people. If uh, they're let to, to talk and to teach, especially in power, you know, uh, our whole civilization is going to collapse, right? Because it's all built on the scientific method is what they say. And there could be nothing further from the truth. If anything, we're trying to look at reality through the scientific method. We're trying to get back to real science. And yet the world is deeming it dangerous and equating it with domestic terrorism. Now you have to ask the question, why? And for most people like, yeah, but why, you know, why would they, why would they do this? We're dealing with a very, very spiritual world. We're dealing with a force that's trying to keep the truth from many, many people. And that's what I explain to people. It's really hard when you think about just men, you know, keeping this truth or, or lying. Um, but when you understand that really to keep people away from the true creator of creation, oh yeah, this is very important because this is an important part of the equation. I would say that the majority of your atheist friends are atheists because of science. Indeed. Right? So it's really crazy when you discover that a lot of what we believed was truly scientific was scientism, was nothing more than a belief, an agenda. You know, it was not truly scientific at all. And that's what's blowing me away. You know, I've been in this now for almost five years and interview after interview after interview, they never ever bring up the scientific method. They bring over boats, they bring, they bring up Aristotheles, but they never really get down to true science. And yet video games like this are depicting people crazy, they're depicting them criminals. They're depicting them crazy, believing in turtles with elephants riding on their back with a flat earth, you know, and then you get into the end part where you've got, you know, a flat earther captured and he's wearing a red jumpsuit called flat earther group. Now, I really can't see uh, flat earthers running around with jumpsuits. So what I'm thinking is this is kind of more of the FEMA camp type ideology mm -hmm. and they have different colors for different levels or what type of groups they're associated with. So understand people that with what you're in right now, you know, it takes a lot of prayer. It takes a lot of, um, you know, importance when it comes to what we're talking about. Really pray about this. We are in a spiritual battle. There is a coming hatred towards anything that is for Christ. That is anything for revealing the true creator of creation. When you're talking about something that highlights the Bible and what the Bible teaches, the world hates it. What do you think, Nathaniel? I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, you know, you look at everything from, uh, you know, uh, the mainstream science uh, worldview. You know, I grew up uh, pretty much atheist and agnostic until the age of, uh, you know, 21 is, is when I began to follow Christ. So I'm fairly new to the faith, but nonetheless, um, it's, it was primarily, like you said, due to my worldview, hey, Big Bang, right? Evolution. Uh, and if you ask any of your friends that, if you just ask them a simple question, what's your worldview look like? If you ask them, why are you atheist or agnostic? And they tell you, they say, well, what's your worldview look like? Do you believe that we evolved from, you know, chimpanzees and uh, billions of years and, and, and things like that? And that'll kind of give you a broader picture of how deep, uh, you know, that, I guess, intentional uh uh, education goes. Mm -hmm. You got people back in the day like Darwin uh, and and pretty much everyone that founded uh, this concept. They were trying to explain the phenomena uh, without uh, the Bible, right? They're like, well, I know the church is pretty dogmatic, but there's got to be another way. So let's, you know, Charles Darwin wrote, I think, with the birds and stuff like that. Um, so it's interesting uh, when you when you really research and you go to your library, get some some old encyclopedias, you know, some old dictionaries. Look up, l l you know, research, reinvestigate your um, what you've been taught, right? And then uh, at the end of the day, celebrate truth in Jesus Christ uh, because He is uh, our Lord and Savior. Uh, at the end of the day, so that is what, like you said, they're trying to keep from us with uh, everybody from Bill Nye and. Neil deGrasse Tyson um, and and those guys out there. Bill Nye even says, "Hey, if you if you're teaching creation, um, you're a danger, right? You're a danger to the children uh, in the school." Mm -hmm. um, which every parent should should know. I think most parents know uh, that the school system teaches children, uh, the, you know, the Darwinian and Newtonian worldview, um, which sucks to say the least. Absolutely, yeah, and it's, it's shocking that uh, they're starting to change the dialogue where anyone that questions 
the official scientific narrative uh you know they're demonizing them they're ridiculing them but shockingly they're actually starting to turn them into domestic terrorists they're looking at them as being dangerous these people are dangerous in society um you know and i look at the connection truly with biblical cosmology because you know i i brought up before and they've used this type of rhetoric with science denial when it comes to climate change or, or global warming but understand that even if you come to the truth that global warming or climate change the way that they they bring it forth is a hoax it doesn't lead you to the Bible, but flat earth does, right? This is why it's dangerous is because when you start realizing they've lied to you about your very existence, about the world you live in, instantly you want to know what the Bible has to say. So many people over the years have reached out to me that have been atheists their whole life. And when they started realizing the deceptions, they instantly turned to the Bible and wanted to find out what it had to say about creation. And isn't it amazing how the true scientific method and all of these experiments are tying in and they're showing that the Bible indeed is true. Yeah. Yeah. And that was definitely the, you know, the case for me. I was curious because I, I heard someone mention, you know, something about the Holy Bible and its depiction uh, of the cosmos. So that definitely piqued my interest, you know, and for pretty much a year uh, and a half, I definitely didn't want to believe it. Um, uh, but the power of Christ is strong, right? He truly is. Uh, but, uh, Man, it's it's truly incredible. Yeah, it's, this is really incredible. The very fact that this has nothing to do with the game itself, this was just thrown in there, that to me is more shocking than anything because you're dealing with like stuff that's been placed in a video game that has no bearing on the video game. Mm, no, 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 nothing at all. It has, it has nothing to do with Flat Earth and ancient cosmology they have in here. Uh, and they're showing you... Um, some pretty serious stuff. I, I hope those of you that have tuned in and, and watching this, whether you are aware uh, of uh, the concept of Flat Earth and its cosmology or you're not, I hope you understand that this uh, is pretty serious, threatening, and dangerous, and it should be borderline illegal. The developers of these games, Ubisoft, uh, and I think, um, I, I don't want to say Square Enix, I don't know, but it's pretty, it's pretty interesting because obviously when you develop a game like this, you have to uh, show it to some big dogs, and they have to approve of certain things. So those uh, that approved of these Easter eggs, they obviously don't have the best interest um, uh, for uh, you know this particular group of people uh, and the concepts. It sucks, man, to to witness this because the game is new. You know, it came out in March. A lot of people aren't aware of this. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to compile this footage for, for everyone to share on Celebrate Truth uh, because, you know, I, I'm glad I didn't wait like two, three years before this stuff uh, made it to your channel. So I'm glad I was able to share this with you. Absolutely. Yeah. And like I said, when I, I, I started doing the, the research and brought up all that stuff on the mobile game, uh, you know, for people that are just tuning in, when we started off, you'll have to go back to the beginning of this video. I start off with a video video expose I did on um, the, I forget what app it was. Let's just, let's click on it here. Hey, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. And I let's click on it here and just go to uh, what the game was. I forget. It was Sniper Shooter. Yeah, Gun Shooter. So, and I couldn't even believe, like, like look how many likes. I mean, it's almost got 50,000 likes. It might have more now. But it was like five out of five as far as stars. A lot of people were playing this game. And yet what was really shocking, and you imagine you imagine playing a, a mobile app video game and you come across, you know, uh, you got to take out these 9-11 truthers or you got to take out people that, uh, you know, you got to assassinate people that deny global warming. People would lose their mind. You know what I mean? There's a lot right. of people that question that. But yet it's acceptable to take out Fred the teacher. You know, hmm. the Intel, all town kids think that the earth is flat. Thanks to this guy, he bought his diploma on the internet. Of course, they got to add that in there, right? But fire him literally. He'll be on a school tour with his class. Here's a teacher. And just because he's actually teaching flat earth, you got to take him out. It's mission two out of five on this mobile app. And I mean, to me, that was just, it blew my mind. The very fact that this was even allowed in a video game in a shooter game and uh, you know you have to assassinate you have to take these dangerous people out and of course you know it wasn't even like what we're equating right now with what you brought up with uh tom clancy's the division two we're talking about fred the teacher right he's right just, he's just teaching he's got his class out on a school trip he's been telling his kids hey man you should look into it you should do the scientific method take them out 
take him out. Mm, imagine dangerous. what that does to the subconscious. Maybe you got like a 10 year old on his mom's phone and he's playing Sniper Elite and his mission is to snipe a flat earther in the face. I know. I know it's crazy, and it's like, what does that what does that put for anyone that's playing this video game that's maybe even thinking about maybe I'll look into this someday, and they see this. No thanks, I'm not looking into it anymore. You know what I mean? Right. Because instantly, subconsciously, they're sending the message that wait a minute, I don't want to become a bad guy. I don't want to, you know, be ostracized because many people in flat Earth have clearly been ostracized in their communities, in the, with their friends. Uh, a lot of people have paid a real price for standing on the truth. Uh, and yet a game comes out like this and it sends messages not only to people that might be possibly looking into it, maybe people that are thinking they're coming out and telling somebody, but also like you brought up is a great point, Nathaniel. What about the child that's playing this game? Because a lot of children are playing these games. Indeed. And it's, uh, it's a lot more children that are playing these games than we think of. You know, when you when you buy a game like Tom Clancy's The Division and it's rated like you know, T for teen or, or something like that to where that child does, shouldn't have access to it. I mean, they still do at the end of the day, right? PS4 uh, and Xbox One and things like that. And they're, they're playing these games. Um, it's, it's devastating. I think it goes back uh, to a mission. I don't want to get off topic, but in uh, Call of Duty, there was a mission called No Russian when you're when you got to basically shoot up an airport full of pedestrians. I mean, the, these uh, these games are uh, pretty outrageous when it comes to Showing truth, obviously, but uh, this is this is pretty damning. And I think that that mobile app game that is really dark. You know, uh, really? actually, yeah, really, actually killing a flat earther, and it, it sucks. It does, and and it's surprising that that's not an Easter egg. I was surprised that that wasn't in some hidden area. You know, that was just right, 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 right out there, right. And it's like. Very few people caught on to that. You would think there would be an, an outrage uh, of uh, targeting any group, something like that, especially where it is with most people right now. Most people look at Flat Earth as just ridiculous, as silly, as stupid, not dangerous. So they're, mm -hmm. not, they're not content with just keeping people at that level where, you know, your neighbor is going, oh, my neighbor's a flat earther, ha ha, laughing, you know, because they're looking at depictions like we're seeing here on the screen right now, right? Because they're seeing the like same a, images. Like a square. Yeah, right. they're like, ha ha, my neighbor, you know, is a flat earther. But it's almost interesting, like the powers that should not be are trying to up it. They're not content with people just ridiculing and laughing at this idea. They want to get to a point where they get to the point where they demonize, where they use it. Uh, these guys are science deniers. You have to understand that these, this is serious business. These guys are unpredictable. They're, you know, scary in many areas. So I, to me, I'm, I'm blown away by just all the stuff that's being seen in video games. Again, when it came to uh, the end of this gameplay, when it was Flat Earther arrested, wearing a red jumpsuit called Flat Earther's Group. To me, with blood on his collar, he, he looks like a pretty uh, mean looking dude there. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked at what we're seeing. Like, what do you think is the future? You know, in video games, what do you see happening as far as demonizing, not just Flat Earth, which is shocking because they're really taking aim at this a lot in video games, but uh, just conspiracies, people that would question the mainstream narrative in general. I, I think it's, I think it just shows how much power, you know, the elite truly has. And, and we, we all know we could, we could talk for, you know, two hours uh, on, on how much power the, the, the mass media has over our minds, you know, with television uh, and programming, dating all the way back from the 60s when they programmed, you know, our grandparents into believing, you know, in the, in the moon landings through through television and, and things like that. But nonetheless, I, w I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we saw, you know, something like this on the news one day when you've got a guy getting arrested. There's that blood there on his shirt. Uh, when you got that, when you got a guy getting arrested, um, and he's wearing something showing flat earth or shouting, hey, you know, flat earth or something like that or flat earth society. I think everyone should should understand the flat earth society. Right. I think we all know that they um, if, if you if you go to their website, try to stay away from it because nobody believes that uh, gravity is caused by the earth rising at a massive rate. I want to get that out there. Uh, try to stay away from the flat earth, I guess, society propaganda page. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff makes its way. Um, I mean, we see it with, you know, 9-11 truthers, chemtrail, uh, everything from vaccinations uh, to now this new Epstein. I don't know how many times I've heard conspiracy theory on the news uh, with this this Epstein case. So that is really like a, it's, the, it's the epitome of a trigger word or words, the, that, that conspiracy theory term. It's interesting, Robbie, I don't want to ramble, but this 
you know, the United States, if you look at your currency, it literally says, in God we trust. So if you if you haven't done, I guess, intense research on the dollar bill uh, and its symbolism, if you're just looking at it, you read in God we trust and you think of, you know, God, like Jesus and God. Nonetheless, God, Jesus, or Satan, those are characters in the Holy Bible. So whether or not you're an atheist or not, you have to understand that your country uh, is is founded on Christianity uh, and, 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 and Christianity's beliefs. And it's wild when you look into the cosmological worldview of the Bible, uh, it's nothing like what we're taught in school and what um, we're made to believe. It's the exact opposite. So that's why I've dedicated season one, like I said, of NCP to calling pastors. Uh, I've got a couple of priests and a rabbi uh, when I just try to take uh, an approach that's, uh, you know, naive uh, and questioning on, hey, what's the firmament, right? What's your consensus on the firmament? And they're, they're really great calls. If you guys uh, get the chance, definitely check it out. There's about 10 episodes. It's really, really good stuff. And Pastor Nate, excuse me, and um, Robbie. You guys have been awesome um, with the promotion and the support uh, for that. So, um, yeah, no. Our pleasure. It's our pleasure. You're doing fantastic work. Keep up the work, Thank you. Brother. Thank you. And uh, I'm looking forward to season two. Um, when are we uh, expecting season two to, to hit? So season one actually took, you know, um, two to three months, maybe even several months uh, with getting that, uh, getting those calls um, collected and recorded in the software that I use. It, it's definitely... Uh, it takes a while, but I can tell you that season two is going to be a giant leap uh, for NCP. We're going to be talking uh, about the moon. We're going to target uh, some areas of the moon that I find interesting. Uh, and I, I can tell you guys just to stay tuned uh, for that. And I've actually got a couple of videos planned uh, to put out before uh, season two and season three. I've even got a couple ideas for season three. So. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Uh, but you guys just be patient with me. Understand that, you know, calling these people, uh, calling these men uh, of faith and things like that, it, it takes time. Um, and you got to have a lot of patience and you got to make sure uh, that you don't say anything that can trigger these these men. Because after all, you're a random guy calling a random person uh, in a random state. So. No, absolutely. I guess in the meantime as well, like I guess in your downtime, you'll be looking into some other video games and hopefully you come across some uh, really great uh, information that we can share in the future. Like I said, this is an absolute bombshell. Uh, I wanted to do a video right away uh, when you had brought up the information and just ducktailing it with uh, what I uncovered last year with the mobile app and bringing that uh, to attention. Please share this video, get the information out there. This one in particular, a lot of people play video games and you can clearly see what, what's going on, especially with games uh, like we're going through tonight. Shocking, uh, assassinating flat earthers, demonizing flat earthers, making them look crazy, and then also equating them with domestic terrorists. Again, we're seeing this in the FBI reports. We're seeing this with so many different publications. The censorship is increasing. In the future, we might not even be able to do a live broadcast like this. So, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm very very blessed and, and thankful that we do have the opportunity at this point. Um, you know, download these videos. Even these videos might not even remain. Who knows? The censorship's getting so crazy. Download it, share it with people, because uh, this information is very important. And the stuff that Nathaniel's doing on his channel national consensus project is absolutely incredible he just finished season one season two will be starting right away subscribe to his channel link will be in the description so thankful to have you on call you a friend and a brother nathaniel will be doing another show here again real soon and uh everyone take this uh, video and this information and get the word out like i said this is very serious predictive programming things to come the future could be told in video games, just like it's done many times with The Simpsons in Hollywood. We're seeing this continual, and now it looks like in video games, they're starting slowly, ramping it up, especially with big games like Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Uh, I would imagine that's a, a billion dollar game, or in the hundreds of millions, as far as uh, how many people play the game uh you know and what kind of revenue it's brought in tom clancy is probably one of uh, the larger franchises in shooter games would it not be nathaniel oh yeah i i, I played a ton of you know splinter cell and uh, uh, ghost recon and things like that i mean he's definitely famous and prominent um 
you know, in the gaming community. Everybody knows him from his books and things like that. He recently passed away, uh, but he was a, a, a pretty good author. Um, so definitely, this is detrimental, I guess, when it comes to the gaming community. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, uh, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more, but this stuff should be incredibly shocking. And get the information out, share it on your social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you need to do. But uh, this is very serious, especially if you do not believe that we're on a spinning ball flying through space. You do hold to a biblical cosmology or you just believe the Earth is flat and not a spinning ball. Um, we're starting to see rhetoric and we're starting to see propaganda moving forward to demonize us, uh, to equate us with terrorists and dangerous and maybe in the future we might need to be rounded up we'll see what happens in the future with uh, reports and and what they start to say uh, in the news and uh, heaven forbid that uh, some terrorist activity takes place and of course they find out that this uh, person supposed person uh, was a flat earther i think it will be a very dark day uh, things will progress a lot quicker uh, after that and i think it is coming i've called it quite you know a few years um, science denial and that's exactly where they're gonna go science deniers are dangerous we need to deal with them and this flat earth thing because it is waking so many people up and so many so many are starting to realize the lies and deceptions of NASA of the scientific community holding on to these Big Bang evolutionary you know cosmologies um, again it was one big lie and you know it was spiritual in nature Satan has been running this game for a long time so while we're not science deniers we're absolute scientism deniers and pseudoscience deniers, 100%. And I'm proud of it. Hopefully you all are too. So thank you so much. Agreed, yeah. Thanks yeah, so much thank you. for having, uh, having you on. It was amazing. Thanks for being here, Nathaniel. We'll do it again real soon. So. Good, good. Thanks for the opportunity, Robbie. It means it means the world to me. Absolutely, brother. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care, everyone. Blessings. Blessings.